You know, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, how much I enjoy a good cup of fresh roasted, fresh ground coffee. I also enjoy the ritual of making coffee when I'm in the woods. But that can take a bit of time. Occasionally, I need to get my coffee into me quicker. And that's when instant coffee comes in. Now, I've been searching for a long time for a really good cup of instant coffee. I haven't found anything that's quite as good as fresh roasted and fresh ground, but I found something that is pretty good. If you're interested in seeing what it is, keep watching. So what did I find? Waka Instant Coffee. So these samples were sent to me by the owner of the company for testing and review. But before I tell you my thoughts on the Waka coffee, let's talk about instant coffee just for a few minutes. So to be clear, instant coffee will never be as good as fresh roasted, fresh ground coffee, at least in my opinion for a couple of very good reasons. To start with, the process in which instant coffee is made. There are a couple of processes. One is known as the spray method, where coffee is spray brewed and sprayed through cold, dry air so that it dries and falls as a powder. And the other one is freeze drying, where coffee is again brewed but put through the freeze drying process and results in freeze dried crystals. Wacker uses the freeze dried method because it is the better of the two methods. But the other factor that goes into what makes a good coffee has always been the quality of the coffee beans themselves. Now I've said before in other videos that there are two types of coffee in the world. The first is known as Robusta and the other one is known as Arabica. After that it's all a matter of where they were grown. Robusta is the less expensive, faster growing but harsher tasting coffee that quite often you'll get not only in instance but a lot of coffee shops. The Arabica bean is the better quality coffee, but it does take longer to grow, making it more expensive to produce. But it produces the better flavored coffees. So the better coffees, the better instant coffees, will use Arabica and the freeze-dried method. Dave, the owner of the company, takes it one step further. He actually goes single source to a farm direct and buys his beans so that he knows exactly where his coffee is coming from and exactly the quality. All those things put together should end up in a better product overall. So, what do I think? Well, Dave sent me some samples. He sent me the Arabican Colombian and the Arabican Indian, as well as a package of instant coffee. He also sent me something else I want to share with you now. <laughs> I have never seen it before, so I haven't tried it before. Instant tea. I didn't even know you could get instant tea. So, I'll talk about that in a few minutes as well. The Arabica coffee, or the instant coffee that Dave sent me, um, you know, my, my gold standard up until now has been the Starbucks Via. And the reason has been it's probably the best bang for the buck. Is it a great tasting coffee? No, no, it's not. It's a good coffee, but it's not as good as fresh roasted and fresh ground. It's been my, my go-to because of the bang for buck, as I said, you know, what you get for your money. So that's what I'm judging this against. So what I've done is I tried these out. In fact, I'm down to like two envelopes each. I'm going to open one up and show you what it looks like in a minute. I'm down to about two envelopes because I've been trying it under different circumstances at home at, in, at, at, well, while at home as well as while I'm in the woods. I also did a bit of a blind coffee test with my wife. I put made up two little cups of coffee, one with the Starbucks Via and one with this. And uh, I'll tell you the results of that in a few seconds. So what do I think? Well, let's be clear. To date, of all the instant coffees I've tasted, Waka wins the best award. Yeah, I, I quite like it. Again, it's not as good as fresh roasted, fresh ground. Uh, Dave admits that it can't be, but it is very convenient and it has most of the flavor of a good cup of coffee. I, I had some the other day, it was funny, I was in the woods the other day and I had a cup of this and I sat down with it and I thought, <laughs> you know, this is almost as good as anything I could brew. Almost, but not quite. The, the aromas were there, and that's often what's lost in a cup of coffee, instant coffee, because of the process it goes through, is what they call the volatile oils are, are released and just hard to capture. Uh, that's, most of them are captured in the Waka coffee, which really enhances the flavor. So let me take a package out. I'm going to put it in a cup. I've got to get some water on the boil. I'm going to put some coffee in the cup and I'll show you what it looks like and how easily it brews up. So I've got some uh, water for my coffee boil. Actually, yeah, it's boiling now in my uh, little zebra pot sitting on top of a fancy feast stove sitting inside of a uh, vegetable steamer as a base. And uh, yep, that is boiling. So very quickly, 
let's go through the coffee. So here is what an envelope of the Wacca coffee looks like. And what I'm going to do is open it up and show you the crystals. Um, it's different than a lot of coffees in terms of the way it looks in my hand. If we'd be able to see that. It's very large crystals. It's not a fine powder. Very light colored, very large crystals. Make sure I get it all. I'm going to put that in the bottom of my Kapilka mug. Now, each envelope makes between 8 and 10 ounces of coffee. Um, I like mine a little strong, so mine's only going to get 8 ounces of water. Thereabouts, and I'm just going to be able to judge that because this is a 10-ounce cup. So let me take this off of the boil. See if I can't. I think I'm going to need a glove for this. Pour a little water into my cup. That looks like about eight ounces. Now, it's doubtful I'll even need to stir this. But just to be sure. See, that smells like a cup of coffee. Well, it is. It is a cup of coffee, but it smells very close to what a good cup of fresh roasted, fresh ground coffee smells like. All right, I'm going to reposition over in my hammock chair and talk a little bit about more the, about the coffee, about some tasting I've done with my wife, and about the tea. Oh, hot. Still very hot. But good, very good, okay. So I mentioned a few minutes ago that uh, I had done some blind taste testing with my wife at home where I had made two cups of coffee, one with the Starbucks V and one with the, the Wacca. And uh, my wife tasted them both and her first comment was, they're not as good as coffee we make at home. And I said, well, that's fair enough, but if you had to drink one of them, which one would it be? And she pointed to the cup, and I asked her what the difference was, and she said, well, the other cup is a lot more bitter, a lot more harsh. This one is smoother, and I can actually smell the coffee. And she was pointing to the Wacca. So she feels that this is a better cup of coffee, and quite honest, as do I. So I don't mind saying right up front, this is the best cup of instant coffee that I have ever tasted. Again, I'll qualify that. It's not fresh roasted and fresh ground coffee. But I have tried a lot of instant coffees and I have videos on them in my lineup. And you can see the different brands. I won't go through all the brands right now. But of all the instant coffees that I have tasted so far, this is the best. It has the best smell, if that makes sense. It has the best flavors on the tongue. It seems to retain more of the body of the actual coffee. Uh, yeah, it's just smoother overall. Uh, now, that's my opinion, but it appears to be the opinion of a lot of people who have tried this coffee. So the question is, would I buy this over the Starbucks Via? Well, I'll be honest, it is more expensive than the Starbucks Via. I can buy that for about a dollar a cup, depending on where you pick it up. If you get it at the grocery store, it's a little bit cheaper. The Wacca is only available online, and of course, I'm going to put all the information about Wacca coffee in the show notes below. The Wacker coffee appears to be in Canada to run about $2 a cup. So I, I don't know what it is on the American Amazon. That's on an Amazon site that I found it. Uh, and you can buy it directly from Wacker and have it shipped direct as well. Uh, I will tell you, it gets cheaper the more you buy. Of course, most things do. Is it good enough to replace my Starbucks? Hard to say. Bang, or dollar for dollar. Um, it is a better, better tasting coffee. So yeah, I think maybe it is. I will probably purchase a good, good small quantity of this, a good small quantity. I'll probably purchase a quantity of this for taking on the trail. I don't carry a lot of instant coffee with me, but there's usually a few in my food bag when I go out for, like I said, times when I either don't pack or don't have the time to make a good pot of coffee the traditional way, and I just want an instant coffee. Do you know something I've tried and uh, I quite like is mixed in instant coffee in with hot chocolate. That gives you a nice flavor if you're looking for some caffeine, some flavor, some chocolate flavor, and some sugar to get you going because it's cold. That's not a bad mix as well. I haven't done that with the Wacky yet. I probably will over the course of the winter. One other thing, oh yeah, I mentioned I was going to talk about the tea. 
I had never heard of instant tea before. Now, in Nova Scotia, we have a long history of loving our teas. Uh, it's, it's just one of those things. There's always a pot of tea on in the house, in most people's homes in rural Nova Scotia. And whenever somebody comes in, tea is just placed in front of them right away. I'm sure they would think this is sacrilege to have instant tea. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I tried it. And it's really interesting. You only need a small amount to make a cup, according to the directions, an eighth of a teaspoon, eighth of a tablespoon very small eighth of a teaspoon and eight to ten ounces eight to ten fluid ounces of water man that's not a lot of tea to make a cup of tea uh, i tried it it's not as good as some of the teas that i can purchase on my own but then again it's pretty darn good i was surprised just how good instant tea can be I would serve this. I'm, I'm probably, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to serve this to a few people at home and just to see what they think. It's a little weaker, so you could add a little extra, but uh, I drink milk in my tea and I put some milk in and it colors up just like a cup of tea. It's actually quite dark the, the, when, I color, when you put the milk in. Um, yeah, it's quite an interesting product. If you want to have tea, if you're a tea drinker, not a coffee drinker, but you want to have some instant so you don't have to go, well, how much work is there to making a cup of tea? But if you want to have something instant, this might be worth a try as well. Now, one other thing I want to say about Wacka Coffee is something about the, the company ethics. Dave has take or takes 4% of all of his profits and puts it towards the development of safe drinking water in third world countries. So he calls that, we uh, give a little, or take a little, give a little. So basically, there is some information, again, I'll put that on the uh, website as well that talks about where the money is going, that 4%, and how it's helping our people in third world countries to have clean drinking water. Okay, that's all I have for you on Wacka Coffee. And as right on cue, there's a search and rescue helicopter about to fly over. Let me wait till that's gone. Okay, search and rescue copter is gone. I don't know if it's on an actual search. They do a lot of practice in this area of the wilderness, but then again, people do get lost out here, so it's probably uh, probably good for them to be practicing. I hope it's not some, because somebody is lost. But as I was saying before the helicopter flew over, uh, if you have any questions about this or anything else, please leave them in the comments section below. If you have any comments on Wacka Coffee or anything other else coffee related, leave those in the comments section below. And as I mentioned, I'll put all the information about Wacka Coffee in the show notes. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it'll make all the difference. Bye for now.